Good day. In this video, we are going to try and solve question 2A, part 1, part 2 and part 3 of the 2021 NCA Level 336 paper probability distribution. Without further ado, let's read the question for part 1. Wilding pine trees are a serious threat to the natural landscape of New Zealand. A wilding pine is one that has grown from a sweet from a seed that was not deliberately planned and grows in a place where it is not wanted. Research has shown that on Rangitoto Island, the average number of wilding pines per hectare is 1.8. Use a suitable probability distribution to calculate an estimate for the probability that there are more than 4 wilding pines in any hectare on Rangitoto. So we are going to try and solve the Poisson distribution. So we are going to calculate the probability that is more than 4, which means that we are calculating 5, 6, 7 until infinity. So we are going to do that. To calculate 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to infinity, we need to calculate 1 minus 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. So similarly, so if we can calculate the PCD from 0 to 4, then we can take 1 minus that, we'll get 5, 6 and so on. So now, once we have done that, we're going to bring in the calculator now, okay? Hopefully you can see the question now, okay? So now what we're going to do, we are going to put in a calculator, statistics, and then go to this distribution. This time it's Poisson. There's no Poisson here. You must put the more button there or F6. And there's the Poisson now. F1 is Poisson. This time we have to do PCD because we are calculating from 0 to 4. So now we go to variable. And now your X is 4. We're going to stop. It's 4. Okay. So 0 to 4. So we're going to put X equal to 4. Execute. New is the mean. The mean as you found out before is 1.8. So we're going to put 1.8 there. And then execute, execute, and the answer is 963359. Sorry, 96, okay. So we could take 1 minus 0 0.96359. So if you use a calculator, 1 minus that, it come up to 0 0.003, okay, 641. Okay, so if you can do that in that question, let me check if an achieve. And then we're going to do part two. Okay, so we're going to put this away and we're going to do part two. Okay, part two sounds like this. Okay, so we're going to put this away and part two looks like this. Okay, so we are going to read part two now. Conservationist, converse, conservationist consider it the success when the probability of finding at least one wilding pine in a hectare is one third. Calculate the model parameter that provide this result. Okay, so if it's more than one, at least one, is one, two, three, four, five, that is equal to one third. So probability is x is greater than or equal to one, is one, two, three, four to n, is one third. So probability of x equal to zero is two third, because one minus one third is two third. So if you know the probability for uh, x for boson, it's going to be e minus lambda, lambda x over x factorial. So if x equal to 0, this part becomes 0, and this part becomes 0, so this becomes 1, x lambda to the power 0 is 1, 0 factorial is also 1, so you are left with e minus lambda. So e minus lambda equal to 2 thirds. We are going to solve this using the graphic calculator. If you're not sure, uh, we shall, I shall teach you how to do it. So if you, you do not know your algebra, don't worry, go to equation. So go to equation. Now you use solver F3. Solver is the F3. You're going to put the equation here. E minus lambda. So E is the function, the yellow button above lawn. So EX, we will shift EX, okay? E power minus lambda. So minus X. Lambda is just an unknown. So instead of lambda, you put X. E minus X equals to 2 thirds. So we will shift decimal place equal to 2 thirds. So 2 ABC3, just press execute, solve, and the answer is 0 0.4055. So lambda is 0 0.4055. If you can get that answer right, you get a merit because you are doing an inverse boson, and that is good enough to get a merit. Okay, last but not least, we are going to do the excellence question. The excellence question is how you argue your case. So we shall look at question part 3 of the question. So the question is, Rangitoto has an area of 2,311 hectares. 
100 hectares made up an area of one square kilometer. Provide two reasons why it is not appropriate to use the Podon model for the number of wilding pines on Rangitoto Island in any square kilometer. There are more than two reasons, but we're going to do two because we are running out of time. So the first reason is Podon distribution assume the independence of event. That is, the occurrence of one wilding tree growing does not affect the probability of a second tree growing. So in this case, it is not the case that the tree may drop seeds and this will increase the likelihood of more trees that will grow around it. So that is the first point. The uh, boson distribution is independent, but in this case, it is not independent event. Second point, boson distribution assume the location of the wilding tree growing is random and unpredictable. However, in our case here, this is not the case because we know that in certain parts of the Rangitoto Island, they have better soil quality and this may be more conducive to grow the wilding tree than the other parts of the island. So if you can answer both of these points, you will get excellent in this paper and an E7 for question 2A, part 1, 2 and 3. So have a go at it again and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers everyone and have a good day.